hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my demo and review first impressions on the maui moisture line it was so many to choose from that i got a little overwhelmed but as you see here i'm trying to nourish and moisture plus coconut oil line this one is for thick and curly hair and um yeah so i picked this one up i think that if i'm not this is the um the nourish and moisture um and i do believe i made a mistake and picked up um or they might have been in the wrong sections but i picked up the curl quench and the nourish and moisture line but they're both for four. They are both for thick and curly hair. I also picked up the uh, smooth and repair vanilla bean hair butter, also for frizzy and unruly hair. Or actually, this one is for frizzy and unruly hair. And um, this can be used as both a deep conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. So this is why I opted to get this one as opposed to buying an additional product, which would have been the uh, curl lotion. I believe it was but i wanted to try um a few of the products out now i don't know if they had anything to do with the turnout in my hair which which you will see uh soon because i did mix a few products up and um if i do feel that that may have been a factor i will go back and just get some more products of the same line and use them together i am going to try this uh twist out again on a later date but today we're going to focus on what I have now. So if you're interested in seeing this process um, on what I did from start to finish, how it came out, and my thoughts, please continue to watch. Don't forget to push that subscribe button. Like this video if you did and share it if you like, especially if you know someone who is natural, newly natural, or been natural for a while but looking for some uh, cool products. So. I'm going to stop talking and get into this video. Um, if there are any specs that I need to include, I would definitely make sure that I do so. It was a little loud in the background, so I decided to mute this out and go on ahead and do a voiceover. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Uh, yeah, so uh, let me see if I'm missing anything. I don't think so. So um, enjoy the video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye, loves. At this point, I have washed my hair with the Nourish and Moisture Shampoo. And although my hair feels really moisturized and soft, it is not moisturized enough for me to uh, detangle it. Not while I was washing and not now. So that's something that um, is a bit normal with some shampoos, not with all. Um, but I'm not going to hold too much against that only because it did exactly what it was supposed to do which was to provide moisture to my hair and to give it some nourishment and that's exactly what it did and it's soft so we're going to move on okay so it's hard to take it out that way because it's so thick Okay, so here we are using the Curl and Quench Coconut Shampoo, um, excuse me, not shampoo, coconut conditioner, and it feels really, really nice. It has a lot of slippage. <laughs> However, it is super, super thick. So I think that um, kind of using a little bit more water with a combination of um, some oils, I'm not sure. I may have to play around with this, but look at the body that it gave me. It is very soft, and I really like the way it feels. It kind of feels lightweight, even though the product is so thick and heavy. Um, but I don't know. I tend to like this, so I think that I would just kind of change up the water to conditioner ratio, and I think that that may help with the difference. So, um it's looking good so far it's still feeling good and so far so good so let's go on ahead and move along i love the way it feels um it has my coils d 
defined and um, I'm liking it and it smells so yummy um, so this is a close-up of what the hair looks like see it's nice and you know spongy <laughs> right. um, the first thing I'm going to do is um, take this smooth and repair vanilla bean oil mist and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and add as my uh, you know my oil I'm going to pump it oh I'm going to spray it on I forgot to set this all right so there's several pumps and I'm going to pull in I'm going to take uh, that much just to start off with So um, this is what the hair looks like with the deep conditioner in it. I'm going to allow this to sit in. Um, it is after three o'clock in the morning. So I probably just let this sit in for about 30 minutes. If I end up doing something else, then that's fine. So this is what the hair is looking like so far. It feels nice and good. And I think that it really does um, hydrate and um, kind of like mm, work with the curls. This is how much I have left. It's a lot. Let's see, let me like that. And then it's good. All right, so I have washed out the deep conditioner and oh my Lord, look at these curls. Um, this is what my hair looks like. So juicy, oh my goodness. Uh, Wow, go ahead, Maui Moisture. All right, so let's get started. Start to style my hair. Um, I have decided to do a twist out, so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I'm going to part and um, section my hair off the way I wanna wear it. I'm just like really loving this uh, washout. Oh my goodness. Kennedy, look at my curls and look, feel how feel, feel how soft it is. It's so soft. Oh my gosh, the curls are clumped up nicely. Isn't it nice? Ooh, it's nice. <laughs> you shady.
a dentist? How do I look like a dentist? Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back. Uh, today is the takedown from um, wash day from using the Maui Moisture line. This is the end. I don't know what's going on with this little piece right here. What are you but I'm going to push it in a little bit. All right, so you guys, um, I'm gonna rate this twist out uh, for softness. Okay, so it's very soft, very moisturized. Um, <laughs> yeah, very soft, very moisturized, and. Um, but I don't like this twist out. I don't like this at all. So, yeah. All right, you guys. This is a fail. Not the product because my hair is very moisturized and um, it's soft. It feels good and it looks healthy. And um, I'm happy with the products. I'm not sure but this is a no for me in terms of the style so maybe I have to figure something else out but this look and the previous look as you can see I was not happy at all with my twist out and I thought it would be so pretty because it was so juicy um, when I was finished everything so um, overall I will definitely say that I like the products because they are moisturizing and um, did cleanse my scalp I don't agree with the um, for frizzy and unruly hair part that is from the smooth and repair vanilla bean hair butter and the oil mist they are amazing products still because my hair is moisturized it has a nice shine to it and um i would say that the oil is kind of like lightweight to medium but of course if you continue to use it or put more layers on it it could be a heavy oil as well so this oil I think is versatile it can be used as a maybe a pre poo a, um, a hot oil treatment an oil mist um, just something just to give a little bit of luster to your hair so that's great for all of those things of course I've mentioned the Murray's 
a few times in my past videos because I have definitely used this product. So this is a repurchase. So of course, this is really the way all of these products actually worked well together. So I didn't even get any flake in um, um, or any like hard patches or anything like that. So um, this is uh, Nourish and Moisture. So I like the fact that it has those benefits in it um, for curly hair, definitely because um, you saw how my curl pattern was when I finished washing and deep conditioning my hair, especially deep conditioning. So I believe that these products will probably work better as a wash and go. Um, yeah, like at, I think they will work better as a wash and go or just for protective styles, but for a twist out or a braid out, for me at this stage in my hair no now that doesn't mean that it's going to stay like that because i do know that as my as time goes on my hair texture does change and it receives it either receives products better or reject the products that i've been using so um that's something that I always like to keep in mind. So I'm definitely not going to write this stuff off. I want to give this product four stars. Last night, I would say five stars because of the way that it was looking. It had my curls looking really juicy. And I really liked just, I just liked the way that it looked. However, after taking it down and um, not liking that it did not um, eliminate or even reduce frizz for me and it was still kind of unruly in fact my twist out looked crazy now if i was looking for a more uh, more of a frizzed look then this line or you know this you know the purpose of this line would be fine for me but i was looking more uh for that definition and I didn't get that, so I'm going to take away that one star. And so four stars is what I want to get this product. Would I recommend it? Yes, definitely. Um, just keep the things in mind and also um, take into consideration that what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me. So don't completely write the product off. Just kind of... Um, Maybe look at a few videos and look through some information just to see and, and kind of like look at people that have your curl pattern or, you know, something like that. And um, for me, when I find something like this on a review, what I do is look at about five videos and the greater number of of three I would do people that are close to my hair type and then the two I would look for people who are not my hair type just so I can get a variety of opinions and reviews on it to kind of gauge if I think that it would be a good match for me so that's you know just another thing to keep in mind but um, overall I really do like the product again I give it a four stars and I definitely would recommend it Again, just keep those things in mind. So this is what I came up with. I'm going to call it the 52 Fake Out um, Messy Bun. But I like it. Um, I haven't had my hair up like this in a while. And it actually stayed. So I think that um, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with um, my updos. So uh, which this, this concludes is this video. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. I hope that you were able to get an informed review on these products um, from the Maui Moisture line as well as the other products that I mentioned. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I will definitely, you know, I will get back with you. And um, I think that's yeah, that's it. So thank you guys as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.